Hi, my name is Mike Martin. I am a fifth year student here at UCSF. I'm here in the Pharmaceutical Sciences and Pharmacogenomics graduate program. And what I do is our lab focuses on membrane transport proteins, which help get drugs or any other, other kinds of compounds into and out of a cell. Actually, nobody in my family does science at all. So I was kind of always the odd one out. Growing up, I've, I, I can't think of a reason why I gravitated towards it. I always just was kind of, I think I, maybe it was just because I was really good at math and science. And so I kind of gravitated towards that. I've always found it interesting to study things or to find something new, something unknown that you can then ask a question and then have the tools to discover an answer for. So when I actually, when I originally was in high school, I actually was in a computer science high school program, a magnet school. And um, when I was in high school, probably my 10th or 11th grade year, uh, my grandfather got Alzheimer's. And you know that's really tough for anybody, especially for uh, someone that's a teen or a child, having to deal with that, of having someone that's you know physically pretty much okay other than losing their, their mental faculties. And so during that stage, I kind of said, okay, maybe something more biological, something medicine-based might be more um, fulfilling or interesting to me at that time. Our lab focuses on membrane transport proteins, and so we're really interested in uh, the genetics of these. And so basically um, everyone, every human has some series of variants that make them different from somebody else. And we're interested in studying whether any of these variants uh, affect the ability of our body to either take up or process drugs or eliminate them. And so I have a gene of interest, uh, multi-drug resistance protein 4, um, which is of a class that, that our lab focuses on. And we've identified a number of genetic variants in it that we're interested in characterizing. And so we uh, test whether any of these might be reduced function or have some other effect on the cell, either their response to a drug or something like that. So I think my path has been maybe a little bit different than some people that have come into grad school. So I actually majored in pharmacy when I was starting out. So when I was at the University of Florida, I, did, um, I got my PharmD, so I could have been a pharmacist. And almost all my friends are pharmacists, and they, you know, that, that was the end of the line for them. And then I decided, oh, I, I want to do research on top of this. And I think coming into this, I didn't have necessarily the same lab experience a lot of people had, where knowing how to just do even basic things like, I mean, I could do pipetting, but you know, a lot, a lot of other molecular biology kind of techniques I just didn't really have. And so there was this enormous learning curve at the beginning, and then getting frustrated when things didn't work. And I think that's probably the biggest thing I've learned is that you know, most, the vast majority of things are not going to work the first couple of times you try them. You've got to just keep at it. You've, you're smart enough to figure out what might be going on. It's a part of, much of the process, I think, is troubleshooting and figuring out if I don't get the result I'm expecting, why might that be and how can I test that? So I think in a lot of ways, like your initial hypothesis is maybe like step one of a, of a five-step process where you're trying to optimize things. And then you finally figured out all the little, all the little minute details and then you can actually do the experiment you want to do or answer the question you were, you were looking for. It takes commitment. I think especially now that we can see what all of our friends from college are doing on Facebook now, that when you're the person that didn't stop at undergrad and you're seeing everybody else that you know get a new car, get a house, all these things, I think there's this thing of, I think you start to question more now, like, why am I here? Like, is this really the right decision? And I think you need to trust your gut that when you applied for grad school, this is what you wanted to do. And that there's going to be always be times where you think about, oh my God, I just want to quit or things are so frustrating. You've just got to push through and you can't, you're capable of doing whatever you put your mind to. And I think you just need to trust in yourself and your original decision and that you just need to push through and get done no matter how long it takes or how frustrated you get.